To me, I'm ready to get help. I'm willing to accept the help. I'm reaching out for the help. But the government needs to step up and stand and do their part. A 50-bed emergency shelter is being proposed here at the former New Westminster Army and Navy Department Store. But community members say so much more needs to be done to help those living on the streets in this city. When it really comes down to it, it's a fight for us. Irvin has been living without a roof over his head for years. He is asked to be identified with just his first name. Tears welling in his eyes, Irvin says he is desperate for help but doesn't know where to go. I've lost my job. I turned to this, which I didn't think I would ever do in my life. And to me, I'm ready to get help. I'm willing to accept the help. I'm reaching out for the help, but the government needs to step up and stand in do their part. On Monday, New Westminster City Council received an application from the Lower Mainland Purpose Society for a temporary use permit so we can operate an emergency shelter on the lower floor of the former Army and Navy store. We have an, a number of uh, supportive and affordable housing projects in the pipeline here in the city of New Westminster that uh, you know I think will be a more permanent solution, but a lot of those projects aren't going to be done for another one to two years, but we know we have a problem right now immediately that needs to be addressed. The proposed shelter would only be open overnight. Cote says it's the province that needs to provide more funding for the city to move quickly on a 24-7 shelter. Are we doing enough? Uh, no, no one's doing enough. Um, the provincial government isn't funding us enough for these shelters um, and the city just doesn't have the space or the opportunity to, to find shelter for everybody. The city's kind of ignored downtown in my opinion. Um, like simple little things. They removed the garbage cans from town. So now there's garbage everywhere. Every morning I pick up garbage in front of my businesses. Rob Leishman owns a couple music studios in New Westminster. He says he was thrilled to hear about the proposed emergency shelter, but is hoping the city will hire extra staff to make sure the surrounding area is kept clean and safe. Some degree of security. And I don't have the answers for that. But like my business is right there. Um, there's an alley at the end of this camera frame. It's city-owned property. What I've done is boarded it up because I would have people climb in there and light fires. I had three fires last year at my business. I've contacted the city several times about this and never have got a reply. Mayor Cote says he hopes to see the Army and Navy location approved and ready to provide overnight beds by December. Despite the proposal, Irvin says he doesn't believe things will change for him anytime soon. The government doesn't want to do nothing to help. And they say they do, but they don't. And when it really comes down to it, it's a fight for us. In New Westminster, Ashley Burr, City News.